what else should we be talking about in Golden Slipper Day than our own tipping competition? And we have brought <laughs> our tipsters into the studio with us. Some are faring well. Some of us, yeah, questionable. Mark Brassel returns. Good morning to you, Mark. That wasn't a segue to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like it. It wasn't. It wasn't. Nick Bur Bernie and Is Isabella Limbrugan are also in. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. Um, the golden child down the end. We'll get to him. <laughs> Let's start with you, uh, Mark. Who have you gone with this week? I'm going down to Goulburn tomorrow. Uh, race seven, Good number day. eight, Gundy Guy. Great name. Oh, well, um, it, we watch a replay here. It's the horse running third, black and yellow stripes behind the two leaders. Now, Billy Owen's riding Gundy Guy. Watch the split that comes. Dead set. The two of them, Gundy and Billy, I reckon had light and easy meals the night before. <laughs> Have a look where it gets through. Wow. Hang on. Hold your breath. It'll get through. Now, I'm it wins in. quite easily. It comes out and wins again. It's won three out of four. I think he's quite a promising horse. And this is the last chance to get in the $1 million final for the New Haven Park Championships final at Randwick in a fortnight. So I'm quite keen on him. Uh, Gundy Guy, race seven, number eight at uh, Goulburn tomorrow. And isn't it shaping up to be a good final? Shoot? Absolutely, the countdown yeah. countdown is on just a couple of weeks away. Um, all right, Nick, you are doing very, very well. I've got to say, my colleagues at work are very impressed with our tipster. Oh, thanks, Julie. Well, hopefully we can go okay. four out of four. But I want to go to Kembla Grange. I like going to the Provincials, made in grade. So the horse we want to watch is actually third the fence there with the black hat. Now, it doesn't get a lot of room in the straight. He's just checked and blocked for a run. And this day at Newcastle, you want it to be coming down the, near the middle of the track, near the centre. So forced back into the inferior ground. As you'll see here, just blocked for that run. But... Once he finally gets out, I just liked how he maintained a really strong finishing speed to the line, uh, beat the rest easily. The time was very solid against the day, but it's all about today's... It's a really likeable betting profile. He's going to go straight to the front. He's at optimal fitness today. The danger to him is first up on a heavy track, so I think that's a bit of a risk. But just have a look at him surge here late. Pricks his ears on the line. Uh, I think he's a really good bet. Race five, number one, the new Sinatra. Right, we'll have a look at the leaderboard a little bit later just to make the rest of us feel really bad about ourselves. <laughs> Bella, uh, you're, you've gone with Rose Hill today. Yes, the first group one of the day, I'm looking at the Randvent oh, Stakes please. and it's Think It Over who I've gone for here. Now, this was just three weeks ago. The very elegant stakes came from midfield, switched to inside on the home term and hit the front on the line. So... An incredible ride. It was Nashra Willer on board that day. He gets back on today and hopeful of guiding Think It Over to a win will only improve over 2,000 metres here. So a real gutsy effort here, a gutsy gelding. So hoping that Nash can steer my tipping comp uh, back to a back winning track. ways. Yes, <laughs> back exactly to its right. winning ways. <laughs> Nash has a, a very big day ahead, that's for sure. Uh, let's, let's head out to Timmy now. Timmy, who have you gone with today for your tip? Morning, everyone. I've gone for a little bit of value this morning, Julie, and uh, race to the distance race here at Rose Hill Gardens. And I've channeled a little bit of Ricky Stewart, Mal Meninga, Laurie <laughs> Daly, Canberra legend now. It was a pretty flat effort second up last time, but a bit of extra distance. Chris Waller, Karen McAvoy. I am thinking that Canberra legend may just get the chocolates today, so I'm going that way. Around that $8 mark. So, um, yeah. Bet with your head, not over it, and have something a little each way on Canberra Legend. That's my view. I wonder if Timmy is going to start the Viking clap if Canberra Legend gets off out there at Rose Hill Gardens today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I've dug myself a hole here. I don't know why, but I've gone with the slipper today. I've actually gone with Switzerland, and Closer. I Try was out at Arrowfield Stud Time last week, Wellington. and I did have the pleasure of seeing Ms Bad Behaviour, uh, Switzerland's dam, in person, and it look I just I, I'm just hoping that at the finish we see Switzerland storm boy I think it is very very hard to split these two um but really my heart probably should have stuck with Riff Rocket in the previous race um rest of the team let's take a look at who else is doing what we're going to have a look at this graphic Ray has I thought Ray would go storm boy I really did but he didn't he's gone race number 10 there today, number three, Alentia. That's who he is with. Uh, Kirsten, she has gone with race three at Kembla Grange in Glebe. And Shane has gone uh, in orange tomorrow, race two, number three, 
O Explosive. So that is our Racing Dreams tipping competition. Here comes the leaderboard. Oh, gosh. Here, oh, seriously, Nick. <laughs> Hitting, mate? Oh, it looks good. I, it I like that yeah, leaderboard. look at yeah, all those greens. Yeah, look like at all those green. greens. Take it off. Take um, it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit tough for Ray and Mark, but there's always next week. There is always that, that's next week. Bowling strikes, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. It is lovely to see you all. Thank you very much for coming in studio. We'll see you again next week. Thank you.